Good day everyone. So welcome again to our math classroom with your teacher, teacher Dan. So in today's uh, lessons, we're going to study number sequence. So formulating the rules and finding the next term in a sequence. So a sequence is a list of number in which successive term follow a rules or pattern. For example, you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You are following the rules of adding 1 to the next number, okay? So each term or each number in the sequence, it is called term. So we're going to start always on the first term. For example, this example number 1, 1 here is your, is your first term, okay? So 1 here is your first term, 3 here is your second term, and 5 here is your third term, 7 is the fourth term, 9 here is your fifth term. So we are looking for the 6th, 7th, and 9th term. So, so in number sequence, we're going to formulate a formula that we can apply for the next and continuing uh, questions or finding the next term. Okay, so we're going to formulate the formula and we're going to try it on the first, second term, if it is applicable to this uh, problem, okay? So, for example, this one, by observing the question 1, it becomes 3, we are just adding 2 here. Four, uh, 3 become 5, we are just adding 2. So, another 2 here, and another 2. So, we can formulate the formula. So, we call the formula is the end term formula. So we're going to put n as our term. So always n, it means the term. For example, 1, 2, 3, that is the nth term. So here, we can see that we can write a trial and error for uh, no, method here. So n, n here, we can multiply it by 2. So 2 times 1, and if the answer is 1, so we can subtract it by 1. Let's try this one to our first term, which is 1. So 2, and uh, substituting the value of the first term, which is 1. So 2 times 1 minus 1, the answer is 1. So that is our first term. The second term is 2. Uh, putting the second term, which is 3. Okay, so 2. And then our second term is 2 minus 1. 2 times 2, that is 4 minus 1, that is 3. So we got the second term 3. So the next, we have 2. And up putting your third term, which is 3. Third term is 3 minus 1. So 2 times 3, that is 6 minus 1. We get 5. We can say this. 2n minus 1 formula is applicable in this given uh, problem. So, we continue. So, 2 times or multiplied by our fourth term, which is 4. So, 2 times 4 is 8 minus 1 at its 7. And then 2 times the fifth term, which is 5 minus 1, so that is 2 times 5 is 10, minus 1 is 9. So we get the first term, which is 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So I'm looking for the sixth term, so we're going to put n here is 6 as your n, which is 6, the value of n. So 2 times 6, it is 12 minus 1, that is 11. So your sixth term is 11. The seventh term, so we're going to substitute 2. Your 7 and your n here is 7. So 2 times 7, it's 14 minus 1, that is 13. So your seventh term is 13. And we have the next one, we have the eighth term. So we have 2 times the 8th term. 2 times 8 is 16 minus 1. It makes 
15. So the missing term is 15. So that is the benefit if we have a formula or a formula to follow looking for the next term. For example, we're looking for the 50th term. So 50th. So we have 2 times the 50th of it minus 1. 2 times 50 is 100. And then minus 1, that is 99. So the 50th term is 99. So that is the uh, uh, use of finding the number sequence and making a formula and finding of it. Okay? Let's have the next example. So 50, it becomes 45. So 50 here is your first term. 45 here is your second term. 40 is your third term and 35 is your fourth term. So we're looking for the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh term. So looking at the number here, so that is 50 becomes 45, so it means minus 5, no? And then we have 45 minus 5 it becomes 40. 40 minus 5 becomes 35 so we can do that for the series of numbers so we can minus that so we're going to make a formula of it using all again the trial and error method so we're going to have so minus 5 n okay so we're going to make this apply into the first term so 55 minus 5 so we're going to add 5 to make it minus 5 to make it 50. So, let's try this formula. So, we're going to use the formula 55 minus 5n for the nth term. So, applying this formula, this one, so we're going to uh, apply 55 minus 5n. So, we add 5 here to 50 to make it 55 because we're going to subtract it to get, to get the first term 50. So let's try this formula in finding the first term. So we have first term is 55 minus 5 times the first term which is 1. So our first term we're going to use 1. So 1 times 5, that is 5 minus 5, we get, so 55 minus 5, that is 50. So we got the first term, 50. So the second term, applying the formula 55 minus 5, multiplied by our second term, which is 2. So 5 times 2, that is 10. So 55 minus 10, we get 45. Applying that to the next one, we have 55 minus 5, which is our third term, so times 3. So 5 times 3, that is 15. 55 minus 15, we got 40. So applying that to the next term, we have 55 minus 5 times the fourth term, Okay, so 55 minus 5 times 4, it is 20. 55 minus 20, you got 35. So the fifth term, so we're going to put now n, a value of n, which is 5. So 5 times 5, so the fifth term, which is 5. Fifth term and 5. So 5 times 5, that is 25. 55 minus 25, you got 30. So our fifth term is 30. So the next we have 55 minus 5 times the sixth term. So 5 times 6, that is 30. 55 minus 30, that is 25. And the seventh term, so we have 55 minus 5, and we're going to put our value of n, which is 7, the 7 term, so 55 minus 5 times 7, so 5 times 7, that is 35, 55 minus 35, you got 
20. So our seventh term is 20. That is how we're going to find the missing uh, number. So let's continue. Let's have number 3. So we're going to have the first term here, second term, third term. You have the fourth term, which is the missing. You have the fifth term. We have the seventh term. So here, we're going to have 6. It becomes 9. If we add 3 here. 9 becomes 12. So we will add also 3. And then this one, we add another 3 and this one and so on. So finding the formula. So we have uh, n term. So the n term. So here we have 6. So we can have 3. 3 n plus 3. Okay. So kasi 3 plus 3, we got 6. So the value of n is 1. So we're going to substitute the value of n. So it is 3. The first term, so 1. 3 times 1, 3 plus 3, you got 6. The second term, we have 3. Second, which is 2. We're going to put 2 here. 2 times 3, it is 6 plus 3, you got 9. And the third term, we have 3 times 3. I say the third term because we have the third term. So 3 times 3, that is 9 plus 3, you got 12. We have the fourth term. So we have 3 times 4, fourth term plus 3. So 3 times 4, that is 12, plus 3, so that is 15. So your fourth term is 15. So we have 3 times the fifth term, which is 3 times 5 is 15, plus 3, you got 18. So that is the fifth term. We have the sixth term, times 6, 3 times 6, Plus 3, you got 21. Okay, so that is the third example. Okay, we're going to proceed to the last example. We have 4 here. Become 8, so that is another add 4. 8 become 12, so another plus 4. Another add 4. Okay, so the formula here is very easy. So we're going to N, I say add 4. The n times 4 or n times 4. Let's so 4 here is your first, second. We have the third, fourth, and the fifth, sixth, seventh term. So let's try the first term. So we have 1 times 4, you got 4. This is your first term. Second term, so we have 2 times 4, you got 8. So we have third term, so 3. This is your value of n, okay? 3 times 4, you got 12. So that is your third term. We have uh, 4, fourth term, times 4, you got 16. And then we have 4 times the fifth term, 4 times 5, you got 20. So our fifth term is 20. So we have 4 times your sixth term is 24. It's 24. And then 4 times 7, the seventh term is 28. Okay, so we can apply the formula. As long as, long as you use the formula, you can find the missing term. For example, we are going to look for the the 30th term okay 30th term so we're going to apply 30 okay we're going to apply 30 times 4 okay 30 times 4 so you got 120 so the 30th term is 120 120. So you apply, if you find the formula for the first, second, third, and fourth term, you can apply the formula. It means it is correct formula. You can look for highest uh, missing term, okay? 
So, make a formula of it and then you can find the missing uh, term as long as you have the formula. Okay? So, you under, if you understand, don't forget to, to share this video and thank you for watching. God bless.